are just a couple miles east of the LAX airport, just off the 405 or the 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New York Jets and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So out now come the Jets. At their own 29-yard line. Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. And this will go for five up to the 33. Ty Johnson, the ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A gain of five brings up second and five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Darnold from the gun. And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the pro bowl corner. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Chargers take over. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for the Pro Bowl wideout Keenan Allen there, but it'll be second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. The Jets defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Badgley able to punch this one through. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Returnable here for Davis. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, Look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Darnold now to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first down, it's Darnold. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And the throw by Darnold hauled in by the tight end Herndon. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 41-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. On first down, it's Gore. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Throwing on second and three. Darnold, he's got this one completed to Mims. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got his offense moving again. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. To throw again on second down. Darnold, screen play, Johnson. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Again, Darnold. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. They'll run on first down. Gore. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now on second down, this is Gore. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Darnold on third down, and that is pulled in by Herndon for a Jets touchdown. Pass complete to number 89. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Jets have taken the lead. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost, and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled. That kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Second and six, just inside the 30. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Looking sideline, incomplete. To the sideline. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, Herbert. Jets get in there for the sack. Patrick Owasor with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Now on is the punter long here as he sends this one away. Braxton Berrios. And New York set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It was Joey Bosa working his way in to bust that one up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The shotgun snap for Donald. He's got Herndon. He's tied in. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? And sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. 
The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Second and goal from the one. Operating from the gun. Over. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. You figure down in the red zone, the play call that's going to come in, find the guy that's most susceptible, the guy that you think that you can beat. In this case, they tried to pick on the rookie, and he was actually up to the challenge. Yes, he was. Solid job knocking that away. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler, and he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. But he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. So a net negative there of four yards. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then... The defense has the advantage. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. Three yards remain for second down. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And he'll have a Jets first down as good running gets him to about the 44. 
run there by Frank Gore, and he has to be one of the most admired players in the NFL. Started the 2020 season, number three all-time on the rushing list, less than 1,400 yards shy of Walter Payton as the season kicked off. Spent a year with Coach Adam Gase in Miami. Now he's hooked back up with him again with the New York Jets. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he'll try the air now with Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses. Catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Darnold, a quick throw out to Mims on the perimeter. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. The ball here. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second and seven, Darnold throwing over the middle incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, and it's third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. That is into the hands of Perriman. Touchdown, Jets. Rashad Perriman. Rashad Perriman there to make the grab. And the Jets have once again taken the lead. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play there for L.A. 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. a gain of 11 would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Hartney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 13-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And this is complete. It's Allen. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Again, Herbert. Yes, and he caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert as his guys are able to regain the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Jets, 14. near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh-huh. That's the excuse that you always <laughs> use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person. When it's play played well and is skillful, I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. 
picks up three on that carry. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. And it's caught by Herndon. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chris Herndon. That one goes for 36 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Nasir Adderley on the tackle. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Faking the give, Darnold. Throw is going to be incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it, who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well, and maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Throwing here on third down, Darnold, the Charger D making things difficult, and it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, Adam Gase turns to the field goal unit. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hatch. And this will not have the distance to get there. Short, no good, just under the crossbar, and this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Eckler, the ball carrier. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. The Chargers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Herbert. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Charger first. There's Herbert finds Williams. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. But it's going to be second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On second and 10, the ball back with Herbert. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 33. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
to the air again. Herbert over the middle, and it's caught Keenan Allen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. down Justin Herbert and this is incomplete looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play and who am I to say this but I'm not sure he made the right decision well the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL that's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league so after the incompletion second and ten from the 22 to throw again Herbert this will be caught inside the 10. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. From eight yards out, the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score. Chargers 24, Jets 14. touchdown that'll be taken about a yard deep and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result that he opted for the touchback now the Jets offense they get ready to head back onto the field they're down now 24 14 work to do as they come up on a first and 10 Shotgun, here's Darnold. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a dump off here complete. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And an incomplete pass. Arnold, that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Darnold to throw again. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. To the air again, Darnold. This is Johnson, he's got it. And it was the stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. It's a gain of six. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This will be caught inside the 10. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, Darnold. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. The Chargers take over first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And they work this well upfield across the 45. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play of the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so he can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Throwing middle, but it 
it's incomplete. The intended receiver there was Donald Parham, and it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Herbert. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And what would the dive look that time on defense? Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? Nick? And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Intercepted. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Tackle made by Foley Fanukasi, the former UConn Husky. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Herbert now on second down. And he's got his man on the outside. Midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. He was brought down by... He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got six, now second and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. Hitler's got it, out on the left side. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run here with Eckler, and he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. They've got second and 12 from the 36. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. He's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. 
And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of his NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Yeah, they'll try and go jet sweep here with Perriman. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Watch out for Hill on the return. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and ten. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big gain of 31 on third down. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. 
That throw into the arms of Allen. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Ten more there and another first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first and ten, Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown. Second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 24. touchdown that'll be taken about a yard deep and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 the Jets offensive unit ready to get going here and down on the scoreboard certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive punting the football Sense of urgency has to take over for them here they know the score they know the situation and by the way the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Final pass taken in by the tight end Herndon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. You gotta figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Darnold. That is caught. It's Perriman. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Darnold throwing complete to Crowder. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. 
Back to the ground game here. Goal. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. And it brings up Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Darnold from the gun. Able to connect with Mims. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and goal, goal. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets him down to the six-yard line. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a Jet shaken up on the play. More from L.A. in a moment. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And he went three from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one-yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. So I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. But you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, O doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from 
from the play usually. So a lot of it goes undetected, but I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. Might want to take that course. On the ground, it's Eckler. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 13 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, Eckler, and he'll get this only up to about the 35. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Chargers on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This is third and four. Operating from the gun, Herbert. It's the right side here, complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Going on the ground with Eckler. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The Chargers on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Fourth down. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. Here's Ty Long now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. But he will not make the first down marker. And that'll be a turnover on downs. So the fake punt unsuccessful. It was fourth and one. Charles, what do you make of the call? I'm not against them going for it there. In fact, I would have thought they'd just leave the offense out there and go for it on fourth and one. Leave your experts on the field. That's what they do. That's what they do best. Sometimes I think coaches get a little too cute, and sometimes they outguess themselves. 
And the throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? On first down, Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here's Darnold. His throw incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Well, they snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Darnold on first down. That'll be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Darnold to throw again. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. the draw. Here's Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. No. Fourth defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Now here we go on fourth. Darnold. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. It's Eckler again. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run. But it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down.
They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. It's fourth down. Here's Ty Long now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Three yards the gain there, second down. Second and seven. the shotgun. Here's Dolan. Crowder's got it over the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To the air again, Darnold. He gets it left side to Johnson. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Again, Darnold. Going to be knocked away and incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, 
batter. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.